That's right, Sharice, and it was just July when we were here at this very water's edge reporting on another toddler whose mother was suspected of taking his life. As we all know, that one ended tragically, but this one has a better outcome for the little boy. When things like this happen, all I can think is that this is not the home I grew up in. It just seems like down here there's a lot more folks at a distress. Seems like uh, a lot more folks on the street, living on the street, panhandling, homeless, uh, people suffering from mental illness. People who live near the Liberty Bridge in Homa can't believe on Friday a mother allegedly threw her 18-month-old son in Bayou Terrebonne. Police say the mother then jumped in the water to get her toddler. 23 years on the job and I've never seen something like this. It's, it, it always, it always, it's pretty disheartening whenever you see what a parent would do to their own child. Homa police say when they got to the scene, the little boy was not unconscious. He was responsive. He's still under doctor's care, though, and is expected to make a full recovery. There were obvious signs that he had ingested water into his system. 30-year-old Asha Randolph is in jail in Terrebonne Parish, booked with attempted first-degree murder, obstruction of justice, and two counts of child desertion. That's because one of her older children was left in the car and the other was playing dangerously close to the water's edge. We went to her apartment in Thibodeau, but the family did not want to speak and asked for privacy. Neighbors near the bridge can't believe this happened again. Just two months ago, police were searching for toddler Ezekiel Harry, one block away in the water. He was later found dead in a garbage bin with his mother charged. I think there just is a lack of places for people to, to go to. There's not outreach programs anymore. Um, some of the programs that likely were in place years ago have been phased out. And so, you know, the burden of the mental health of the community ends up in the hospital systems of the criminal justice system. This community comes together after hurricanes, after tragedies, something like this. We're going to come together and we're going to do better. Now, HOMA police say it could be weeks before the DA gets the results of their investigation. And they say that is when it will be determined if mental competency will be part of this case. Reporting live from